first of all i would like to tell you that uh, it's a myth uh, where people say that there is no freshers job for uh, coding uh, devops uh, or some kind of other things maybe like uh, cloud uh, computing uh, all those myth which people say right uh, you won't get job uh, as a fresher in this particular thing uh, or that particular thing that's usually myth in this particular it world because in it world uh, if you say that there is no freshers job uh, then how will one person will become senior web developer or senior devops engineer all those things uh, will happen only if that particular person uh, joined somewhere in IT and they built their way upon there. So if you say that there is no fresher job for uh, DevOps, uh, that has no meaning because if you say that there is no senior level job for DevOps, uh, then it's fine. Obviously, in order to get senior level job, uh, you need to have a certain experience. Uh, as a fresher, you won't be having it. But in order to get there, uh, you can get some kind of job in one small company or something like that you can build your experience maybe after six months or one year you'll be able to apply for such big roles so if you have skills then there is always job in it world it's not like some other field where you have to study so much and once you study you won't be able to get a big job because obviously if you study in some normal college maybe civil engineering or something like that then you won't be able to get a some big car companies uh, uh, research and development uh, departments uh, job because that's not how it works in order to get into that particular company you might have to start from like really bottom but in it world there is nothing like that even the smallest job is there right maybe testing or quality assurance all those things are also really good jobs only and if you are interested in it you can apply it but if you are not interested in it you don't have to apply such jobs because you can directly apply for development job or even devops related job but many people think that okay i won't get a job so why won't you want to apply because they are asking for so many experience but if you have knowledge and if you have skills then obviously you can apply for it maybe one company will reject two company will reject but you need to keep on applying and try to apply some related jobs also if you want to get a job in docker then obviously you can try to apply for some other operating system or system administration related jobs so if you apply for such jobs you can build maybe six months or one year of experience and then you can apply for this docker related jobs so obviously you can try applying directly if you are not getting it after maybe you let's say that you have applied for 50 to 60 companies then obviously you can try to apply for related jobs so because there might not be job availability at that particular time or your job configuration doesn't match with it so anyways it's just biggest lie which people say that there is no job for uh, freshers in uh, devops or coding or some other field in it another thing is uh, with all these growing technologies related to ai machine learning robotics and all those things uh, it jobs uh, will be even more in the future and even when there is recession or uh, economic uh, low growth or something like that uh, still there will be some companies who wants to make money that time they'll be hiring people you know when they hire people obviously if you have skills they will hire you over some other person who just has degree without any kind of skills that's why you need to try to get that particular skill how much ever you can and you should keep on trying to apply for different different jobs if you don't apply for different companies then there is a high chance that you won't get job and you might think that there is no opening for freshers in my IT field maybe devops or coding so don't think like that you should keep on applying for multiple companies then only you will be able to land one good job and in market there is always demand even when there is economic shutdown or all those things that time also there is demand you just need to increase your chance of getting jobs by applying for more and more companies and increasing your skills and also lots of time uh, when people say that there is no freshers job that just means that uh, when you complete your degree and using that particular degree if you are trying to get job in uh, some serious company that time that particular company won't just consider your degree they might not even see the degree they might just see your skills your aptitude skills uh, your coding skills uh, and maybe your talking skills also so all these skills uh, will make sure that you will be hired in that particular company or not if they reject you because you don't know how to code something or you don't have like a proper sense of talking with another person during interview then obviously don't blame freshers don't have job in this particular field when you go for 
your interview that means you are prepared and once you are prepared for it you need to get that particular job if you don't get that particular job that doesn't mean that uh, there is no job for freshers someone else at your own level might have come and got that particular job so that's why i'm telling you you need to learn properly whatever the skill which you are trying to learn if you have degree with it then absolutely amazing if you don't have degree also then also it's fine either way you need to build your skills uh, to become really good at that particular field and you need to apply as many places as you can every day wake up in the morning and try to apply for the job if one person rejects or doesn't call for interview there is always another person who will call you and you'll be able to get that particular job so it's a myth saying like there is no jobs for uh, devops or uh, coding or uh, some other field in this particular IT world. It's all myth. You can learn it. You can learn it properly, build your skill and start applying for companies. So that's it for this video guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you have some questions, put it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Bye bye.